What's up guys, it's George and Liu Yu and today's video I'm going to show you a breakdown of a, of a more advanced footwork drill known as the shift, uh, which you can use to create better angle for your shots. Alright, so the shift is a little more advanced because you're risking more, you're taking more risk, you're doing things that aren't textbook, right? So when we do the shift, we're putting our feet together, we're switching stands from let's say you're orthodox, you're switching from orthodox to a southpaw for a short amount of time. You're doing things that you're not supposed to do uh, when you're learning how to box, right? So that's why this is more of an advanced footwork drill. I wouldn't teach this to one of my students who's barely learning how to fight. You know, you're gonna confuse them, they're gonna pick up bad habits. Uh, this is something you do once you already have a really strong foundation and now you're able to risk more to create those opportunities. These little movements will just add on to that foundation. This is going to be a little bit more advanced footwork drill and uh, let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use the cone as a guide and all I'm doing is I'm going to move from one side of the cone to the other. So you're going to have to put your feet together. So this is what it looks like. So I'm starting here. The entire time I'm going to have my foot facing the cone, right in front of the cone right here. So what I'm going to do I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my feet about shoulder width apart and I'm gonna bring my left foot where my right foot's at and I'm gonna bring my right foot out. Okay, so all we're doing, we're switching feet. One foot is gonna face the cone and then we're gonna switch. So this is the basic movement that we're doing here. Right foot in, left foot out, left foot in, right foot out. So this is a movement here. Practice this. And then once you get comfortable, pick up the pace a little bit. You're just switching your feet position. Okay, now that we got our side to side movement, now we gotta do the same thing moving forward. So again, we're replacing our left foot with our right foot and our right foot with our left foot. So next to the cone this time, our feet, uh, your foot's gonna end where the cone is at. So I'm standing here. I'm gonna bring my right foot in, because I'm standing orthodox first. I'm gonna bring my right foot in and my left foot forward. Left foot back, right foot back. So I'm in my boxing stance and I'm just shifting here. All right, so we got our side to side movement down and our forward and back movement down. Now. We're gonna do it from our boxing stance. You're gonna have your left foot forward, your right foot back, right? Because that's our orthodox uh, stance. To create that movement, we need to have our feet separated or we gotta start with our feet separated, right? So we're in our boxing stance and what you have to do to move to your right, I'm standing orthodox, to move to your right, you're gonna take a step out first, right? Now when you take that right foot out of position, when you take that step to the side, now you can do that movement we did on the cone. So, I'm in my boxing stance here. I'm gonna take a step out. I'm gonna bring my foot in and turn. Here's a different angle. I'm gonna take a step with my right foot out and then the left foot's gonna follow. So I step, bring left foot in, right foot out. Here, step, that little shift right here. This is the second part, step, Right, left foot in and right foot out. One more time, I'm here, I'm stepping and shifting. We're not doing the pivot yet, we're not turning, we're not creating that angle. This is the second step. One more time, boxing stance, step, left in, here. So the last part, part three of this movement is now we're gonna turn as we do that shift. We are gonna turn our body, we're gonna create that angle. Okay, so instead of doing it facing forward the whole time, we're gonna end up turning our body. Okay, so, so I'm gonna do it slow. Step, bring the left foot in. As I, as I take a step out with my right foot, I'm turning. That's it, just turning your body as you're doing it. Okay, I'm here, I'm stepping out, stepping in, step and turn. That's what's gonna create that angle. One more time, I'm here, step, hips facing that way. My knees are bent when I land. When you bend your knees and you're doing this from an orthodox position, this is a perfect, uh, perfect shot to throw your left foot, perfect position to throw your left foot. Again, 
I'm here, I'm gonna step, bring my foot in, and pivot my hips or uh, turn my hips to the side. So I'm here, notice my hips are facing that way. I'm gonna step, they're turning a little bit, bring foot in, right foot out and turn. Now I'm facing this way. Okay, so I'm here, step, that way. Again, step, that way. And that's when you throw your hook after doing that shift. So if you wanna create a deeper angle, you wanna take a bigger step forward, right? So instead of just creating that angle that we practice on, here, my opponent's facing me, instead of just doing this one here, right? The opponent can still turn around and, and you're still kind of in position to get hit. But if you take a deeper step forward, now you're gonna be facing your opponent's back. Now they have to really turn around and look for you. So you're here in your boxing stance, take a bigger step forward. As you take that big step forward, lean your head off to the side, okay? Let your head fall forward and then you can do that shift. So you're here, step forward. Now you're on the back side of your opponent or at least behind the ear. If you feel comfortable just being here to the side, that's still a great shot. That's still a great angle you can throw. Um, but if you really want to take a full advantage, take that step forward. So instead of just doing the step to the side, uh, instead of just doing that step forward, lining your feet together, and you're taking a step. And now you're going from orthodox to southpaw or southpaw to orthodox. And then you do that shift. So you're here, you're gonna step and do that shift. I'm here, step. Now I'm on the back side of my opponent. So you wanna create a deeper angle, just take a deeper step. So here's my opponent's point of view, you know, a little tall, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna do the shift from this angle. You're my opponent right now, you're facing me. So you guys can see how I create that angle. I'll do it from a little further out. I'm here, imagine I can reach you, you're in my distance. I'm here, I'm gonna step, step. Now, if I wanna create a deeper angle, again, I'm gonna take a step forward, right? I'm in your point of view right now. If I move to the side, if I lean forward, you can still see me. Even if I do that shift to the side, you can still see me. But if I take a step, if I take a step forward a little deeper, I'll create a better angle. So I'm here, I'm gonna take a step forward and shift and take your back. I'm here, step. Now you can't see me. One more time. I'm here. I'm in your point of view. Step. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Now, there's so many ways you can teach this shift. This is the way I teach my students. So uh, if they find it helpful, you know, it may help you. And you may see a lot of instructors or different instructors on YouTube or, or online that teach it differently. That's 100% okay. That's the beauty about boxing and fighting in general um, is that there's not one specific way and you, be, you can be as creative as you want and still be successful. Now a little change of topic, uh, I was doing a t-shirt giveaway a couple months ago and I never announced the winners so here are the winners. Um, thank you guys for your support. I'm going to get in contact with you to give you your t-shirt. Uh, I still have a couple left so I'm going to do it one more. I'm going to do one more round of giveaway but only for one winner. So all you have to do is comment below, Team UU, Team Acosta, either on this video or on my Instagram. On my next video, I'll announce who the winner is and ship out the t-shirt. Uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and share with a friend.